Hey survivors, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die Base Day 1 on Alpha 20. So, sounds like we still have one in here. I came over here and I was putting my stuff away, getting ready for the episode, and of course, uh, we got a minor wandering horde. It actually wasn't really anything uh, too big or to write home about, so... However, they did do quite a bit of damage here. They took out a few blocks on me. Whatever, they're just wood frames, not too big of a, de uh, a deal. We can move those later on anyway. Now, we went out last episode, got a whole bunch of mechanical electrical parts, enough to start making cement, I do believe. Uh, we should have the concrete mixer unlocked through skills. Uh, we do, one second. Cement mixer. I keep calling it a concrete mixer. That is completely wrong. I just have to get together our parts. These are actually rather cheap. They're only 25 forged iron, which is uh, less than a weapon, which is rather odd if you think about it. Now, we only have 19 forged iron on us, but I did go out and get some more iron so we can get our forge going again and make some more bars. I always forget... Damn TL, oh, my damn bike. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five engines in total that last run. That was pretty crazy. And one cement mixer coming up. Okay, so before we turn our front of our base into cement, I have to do some renovations here. Thank God we got uh, decent iron tools on us now. I need to take this and make it two blocks higher. And then we got to move the floor, the panic floor here, a couple of floors higher too. Not sure if we're going to get to that by Horde Night, but it is one of the renovations we have to make. And I'm going to redo the front here. We're going to use a trellis block at this level, a double pole in the middle. They'll still get in every once in a while, uh, but we'll be able to control it better. And another couple levels of trellis here. That way, instead of getting like caught up in here and then crouching, and then getting through the blocks, they'll actually just stand on top of each other and it works a lot better. Okay, our cement mixer should be done. There we go. Let's go ahead and whip that out. We're going to have some uh, complications with this build here and have to do quite a bit of renovations, which is not what I had planned, but the extra challenge, you know what, is kind of welcome. So I'm going to grab what I need here to start making some concrete mix. And, ooh, we're kind of hurting on the stone front here. How much concrete mix can we make? 281? Okay, and we have only 365 cobblestone. Right on. Okay, so what I'll do then is mix up concrete mix for now. And then we'll have to head out and maybe farm some iron. We have an iron mine out here right down this way and get some stone at the same time. That'll help us out. We need to make ourselves some cobblestone. Ooh, we're also going to need some clay soil too. Looks like it's uh, almost time for a grind session. Now, the other things we needed to make was a generator bank. Here we go. For that, we're going to need some more forged iron, mechanical parts, electrical parts. Here we go. I'll start making this stuff, too, so I know when we're out in a boat uh, what exactly we need to make. Okay, and we can make our generator bank. So we have one engine for that. That's all we need, I believe, for now. And then we need to make ourselves a bunch of electrical fence post and for that we're actually going to need a, a considerable amount of iron but they don't take too long to make so i think the best use of my time now then is to hop on my bike and go and get us some resources
Oh no, I heard a dog. I came up and I can't find this thing. Where is it? Oh, it's in the pit! It's in the pit! Holy crap! I am glad I got out of there in time. Alright, well, we're gonna ignore that dog for now because we got a big, huge wandering horde coming our way, so let's have some fun, guys. We are sitting at 799 zombie kills. Let's see how many we can get. Well, that was that, and we have a dog down here digging up for us. So let's see if we can get some headshots, and this thing seems, uh, uh, to not really be the best at path making here, so... Oh my god, expose your head! I'm wasting bullets on you here. Ooh, you know what? We could try out our new handgun. I think that would work well. Come here, zombie dog. Come on! <laughs> it's so hard. Whoa. Well, now I'm in here with it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Couple shots from the handgun. That's all it took. Okay, well, it looks like it dug up my... Oh, no, we still have a way out of here. Wow, I can't believe it couldn't track that. That is very odd. Okay, well, I guess uh, back to digging here. We're looking pretty good. Uh, I was able to make over a thousand cobblestone rock. We got 1600 ore, some small stones still kicking around, and some clay soil. We need a little bit more soil here to go in our forge, so I may as well straighten up the mess that dog made. And then grab some stone, grab some iron, we'll head back home. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. We're coming back with uh, 3000 iron, a little bit of sand. A whole bunch of cobblestone and clay soil and small stones. So I'm pretty happy with that. And plus, it won't be nighttime. Digging at nighttime kind of sucks because you can't see uh, anything at all, especially threats coming at you. All right, let's get my butt home. Oh, before we do that, since we are going by this old church right here, I forgot to check the steeple last time. There's a ladder leading up that I completely avoided going back to. Uh, shout out to whoever left that comment. I do apologize. I <laughs> can't remember your name off the top of my head. Uh, but let's take a look up this way and... Oh, yeah, that's, that's the way we use to get across to there. Oh, I think I missed another loot room up here. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. There's no other loot room up here. There is... Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a way to get back into this uh, little office back here that leads with the stairs going down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that was cool. Well, home. Sweet home here. And uh, almost another full level just from being out and about. I guess I'll just get right back to work. Yeah. 
Well, there goes the wrap that came around there. So what we need to do is take all these old blocks out here, all these X's, uh, these old random blocks from the old base build, all the way up to this row here. We need to take this all out and get it all nice and replaced. I'm going to be moving this support row one more block up, and then that's where... Uh, we got one, two, three, four. Uh, that's where we're going to be starting our new uh, Eve up there. Yes, I did waste a lot of cobblestone, uh, but I did learn a few important lessons, and the base will uh, actually run a lot better once we get it together. Uh, now, this base here, guys, it's it's a brute force base. It's not meant to be invincible. Uh, it's meant to be defended, broken through, defended, broken through, defended, kind of like a uh, uh, more of a traditional base or tower defense style uh, which i don't mind I, I really like doing that i like making nice big beefy bases and when i say beefy bases guys if you've watched my other base day one series uh, you'll know how big they are and i've had a few people also uh, display concern that they thought this base was small compared to my other playthroughs but i have i'm planning on expanding it guys so we're gonna have this one tower here and then i'm gonna spawn in not spawn in build in three more of them so we're gonna put a two block space in between them build another tower here two block space another tower there and another tower on this side and then combine them all together to make a super structure oh wow i had my storage chest up there for the trader and i almost collapsed it but yeah this is going to be a very big build guys it's going to be a little painful at first uh doing this um maybe making a few modifications over and over again to the original tower but once we got the original tower together we can actually plan and lay out the other builds and actually get, uh, build them from the ground up. Yeah, that would have sucked. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'll get rid of all this stuff. Well, we got all of that chopped out. So what I'm going to do is actually use uh, this stack of blocks we got from the trader. We're going to still manually upgrade everything to get that sweet, sweet XP. We're going to copy that shape and start putting our new support system up here. We're going to have to move this floor one up and not have really too much space between this floor and the floor above us, which kind of sucks. But hey, uh, it is what it is. Or, you know, you know, even if I get... Oh, that's so much block so to bang out. I think we're going to end up stuck with this, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get these upgraded here. There we go. And we're going to go beneath and put in the new front. So the block we're going to choose is called a trellis block because it looks nice and uh, we can shoot through it. I think we're going to go with the, the trellis diamond just because we're, we're a, a pyramid, right? And the shape to me just fits appropriately so there we go we got our trellises they're looking all nice nice we also get we got to get our double pole going on here and it's right here there we go so normally i don't think i would go with the double pole on uh like the day seven but because we have uh, electricity this time around and we're gonna have electric fence going I don't feel uh, too bad about that and if a few do make it through I really don't care uh, now the other thing we have to keep in mind is cop spit can make it through this it, they can get through so um, whatever at least we'll be able to uh, melee a lot easier right like look at that I can hit right through there no problem let's get this upgraded And there we go. We have a nice, fully replaced front to our horde base. Let's go out front and check that out. If I can get down the ladder here. I guess I just don't have the skills I need to. And we'll take a look at the front. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better now. So what we're going to have to do up this way here is... Uh, we're going to have to adapt because we have one block, two block... Uh, it's sat on this block. We need to set the electric fence on this block, but two out. So what we'll do, I think, is go uh, with the longer wedge. Let's check that out. Here we go. We got a wedge 60 and the wedge 60 tip. I think that will actually uh, do just perfectly. Oh, nope, the wrong way. There we go. We got the wedge 60 in the appropriate position. So let's go ahead and select our wedge 60 tip. And it doesn't automatically go to it. What if I do an on base? Oh, yeah, that worked perfectly. Okay, you know what? I like that. 
I really like how that works, and it doesn't move where the original position I have planned for the electricity. And there we go. So I have the basic wood frames in, and I really like the way that turned out, actually. So we'll be able to come out a couple blocks here, protect everything that we need, and just make everything generally uh, look pretty good. So I'm going to get this uh, upgraded and kill these guys. I don't think it's a wandering horde. Just probably some locals. They heard me talking. Came to see what was up. And that is that, so we got the full renovation of the front of my base done. Which means we can start taking a look at elect our electricity now. Uh, the one thing I want to do before I put electricity in is make this base make a little more sense. So what I can do here is just a couple blocks up, throw a ladder going all the way up. I'm going to make those out of uh, blocks that you can pick up here. And they won't track up that because there will be no block above it. It'll be a nice quick way uh, in and out of our base, at least for now. And we'll get this bottom closed up and I'll go uh, floor by floor here, starting at this floor and make sure that the ladder touches the ground and there's a block above it. So that way the, the zombies will actually track towards the front of the base instead of going uh, beneath it here and smashing things up. That'll make our life uh, at least a little bit easier. Oh, you know where I made a mistake, guys? I have made a mistake right here along this support system. Uh, we don't necessarily need to fix it tonight because I could just run up and do some repairs if I need to. But we need to change this block out so that I can have visual access to all of the electric fence posts that are sitting here. Uh, now, speaking of, I got the ladder system in, so now they'll track us here uh, if we're up on this floor. Nope. The one thing I didn't do was put a ceiling above this so uh, just for now then we're going to uh, put some frame shapes up there so it looks like that ladder is covered and of course we should uh, do a hatch as well there we go hatch going and our forge looks like it's nice and cleared of course we're going to start pumping some real material into there there we go get this forge fired up now if you guys maintain your heat levels, they call it an activity map now. It used to be the heat map, but it was confusing. Uh, if you maintain your uh, activity levels to really a minimum, like I'm not going to run my forge and my campfire for a long period of time right beside each other, uh, you should be okay and not really see any screamers. But once you start like two or three forges constantly, you're really going to ramp up that activity map and get one coming in to check out what is going on. So next time I see a zombie, I guess we can test uh, the tracking to see if... Uh, is there any kicking around nearby, or did we kill them all? All right, well, I still got to test out the tracking, so next time we have natural spawns, I'll come up here, uh, shoot at a couple, and that should attract them over to us. Oh, yes, here we go. So next thing we need to make is some fence posts, finally. We only have 26 electrical parts, so we'll probably have to go out and get some more. But how many can we make right off the bat? 13? Uh, that's enough plus a couple extras. So, yeah, we really don't have to head out. Now, next thing is, is we have some concrete over here and we need some more cement mix. So let's go ahead and uh, get some uh, more of that going too. Concrete mix, I mean. There we go. Another 515 on the way. That's going to take 15 minutes. It is a bit of a process. Let's go and utilize that down here where I know this is going to be our final design for now. So I don't really feel bad about upgrading all of this here. Should hold up for us a lot better on Horde Night. Okay, so now I removed a lot of support from this building and currently in the game there is a stability bug. Uh, where the stability doesn't update for the game for some reason, is, or it does it really oddly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, how, we, how we're getting around that for now, is we're going into debug mode by pressing F1 and typing in DM. And then from there, you can press escape and then click on recalculate stability, and that should fix any stability issues. I would really hate for my base to come down of non-natural causes, like it's not really meant to be a function of the game, so... Uh, I don't mind going into for that, but like I say in other episodes, guys, it's not something I do in my playthroughs at all. This is one of the only exceptions. Wow, that was just enough 
Oh, I hear a zombie. Uh, that was just enough to upgrade the front of this place. Looks like it's a disturbed tourist too, which is pretty, uh, pretty slick. As soon as I tell you guys how good this is, I end up hitting the bars myself. Whoops. Uh, now, I want to discuss design with you guys because you guys are like, oh, you can just build this at ground level and not have to uh, uh, have to uh, build any blocks or have that annoyingness. The whole point of this build here is to kind of base our uh, crowd control a bit. As you can see, I hit the guy. He slid backwards all the way to the bottom of the base, opening up more room to hit more zombies and kind of uh, slowing things down a bit. I have to get, really get used to that, that hitbox there. It's not as easy as, not as, easy as I thought. There we go. <laughs> uh, so what happens? And then the bodies as well, guys. They slide away from the base, right? And on top of that, while you're up here, probably in the middle shooting at zombies, uh, the, the the police, the uh, the cop zombies, don't have as much of a line of sight at you. So it controls that line of sight. And on top of that, once we get to our electronics here and we're protecting the base of our build, guys, uh, the electronics are going to be out of the way of any explosions now. If you guys did this on the ground level, you'd literally have to dig 10, 12, 13 blocks down uh, to get that safety. Because uh, cops will explode, and sometimes they'll explode on the ramps as well. If they're exploding on top of the ground, you basically have to take out all of the dirt anyway, dig that all up, and replace it with uh, high-quality blocks so that demo zombies and cops aren't making big explosions in the ground. So by, by doing the ramp like this, it also negates a lot of that damage because it's going outwards and up, right? Uh, it's a little hard to explain, but if you guys, uh, you know, if you know what I mean, let me know down in the comments. So one of the other things here we really, really need to replace and get done is this floor in here because the zombies were hitting it last time. I was shooting at it. It took a lot of damage. Oh, the other thing I need to introduce, I totally forgot about is we need a middle support pole in here. And this is the middle block right here, uh, which is good, which means I only need to move this over one block to make the entrance. And we'll also use this to get up and down the entire build. So uh, now I know I'm going to have to dig about four blocks down eventually and replace the blocks anyway. So I'm going to do myself a favor right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dig four, uh, five blocks down just to be safe and start it from there. Now I'm only going to upgrade this here to cobblestone because I don't think it really needs much else. It'll be completely inside the base here and it shouldn't really be getting hit by any zombies. If it is, then I am completely doing it wrong. Okay, here we go. So we'll just go uh, block, by bo block by block and upgrade these. There we go. So what this will do is make the build a lot more stable and I'll have something to put the ladders up too. Uh, we can move the ladders around and make everything look nice, nice. Because eventually the supports you see here, uh, they're going to all need to, need to go because we're going to be putting our electronics down here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this original ladder system in here and fill that floor in upstairs and we'll start the ladder system going up the middle throughout the entire base. There we go. So we got ourselves a nice floor here. We're all nice and solid. We got a concrete front. Damn, it's uh, starting to look really, really good in here. I'm happy with the outcome of this. Uh, now, like I said, next step is, is to actually get rid of this middle block here. Pound out a block right here and then build a... Ooh, wait. Oh, no. I think this uh, ladder system actually may be sitting in the middle block. Oh, and it is too. Okay, well, we'll have to redo the ladder and the hatch and everything else. There, that'll make for a much, much more stable base here. And then uh, this ladder, we'll move it here to the middle somewhere. Let's go up top and check out where the middle section is, which I believe is... Uh, right here let's go ahead copy shape you know one two three one two three one two three yep yeah, that is dead center middle so as long as i choose a side where this ladder wasn't because you can't put another ladder on top of where there's a hatch so uh, as long as it's not facing south we should be good let's check this out here south is in that direction uh we'll put it here on the west side 
All right, there we go. So we're pretty much done here. I just got to put another hatch down and uh, extend the center support just so I don't forget about this thing. We can also use it uh, to cover up where that ladder is. I don't know if the hatch counts as covering a ladder. That's something I'm going to have to test. But for now, we're just going to make sure by having both of them there. Nothing like a few redundancies, right? And zombies should be able to track us now. Whoa. Whoa. When we're right up here, is that a dog? Oh, it's a wolf! Oh, look, delivery, guys! We're gonna have ourselves some food here. Now, can we hit, can we hit the wolf's head through here? Uh, possibly. And it looks like he might be able to get through here too. Holy crap! He did some damage to that block already. And apparently, so am I. Okay, you know what? It is the good old handgun for you. Ooh. Okay, well, it's still doable. Hitting the animal's head, I can get them through there. Uh, I'm going to go and grab his meat. So we should have now some more uh, cement kicking around here. Concrete mix, perfect. Let's go and do some more upgrades here. We have even more than before. We also need to do some repairs already. Looks like that wolf have, may have been down there for a few minutes. I have my game's uh, volume turned down here just a wee bit today. Okay, here we go. And awesome. So I'm going to get all around this also upgraded. So we'll also go a few blocks back here. As you can see, the zombies kind of went up the ramp a little bit. And tended to uh, clip a few of these blocks along the edge. So... Uh, we'll get those done now. I don't really want to upgrade these blocks here uh, If they break in they can go ahead and start breaking out these blocks for the next hard night uh, We'll just replace them with the right ones, right? Okay, well, I guess uh, without further ado We got to start looking at our electricity guys. So we got 13 fence posts going on uh, We got our generator going on. We're gonna need uh, our gas an engine and our tool should be in the weapon chest over here and our wiring tool okay so since i kind of messed up over here ooh, i might not be able to wire this properly okay before we start that guys i have to do the grind here and uh, take out these blocks and replace them with the right ones or we're not going to be able to wire these things up properly oh i also need to make a ladder system here in the middle going up and down. Whoops. Okay, two things to do. Okay, there we go. So we have a way down to the basement now. And on this side, what I chose to use was poles because they... Um, they support the same amount of weight. Let's actually get those upgraded to concrete. They support the same amount of weight as a full block does. So all this allows us to do is stand down here with my repair tool and repair our electric fence pull tops. Those are the ones that are going to be taking uh, damage for us. So let's go down below and take a look at what we got going on uh, down here. So this here, uh, where is the frame? Oh no, do we still have a wooden leg going on down here? That is no good. I think that is our corner piece. Let's go ahead and take a look. It is. It is. Okay, so first objective. Get this sucker upgraded for sure. Here we are. Uh, the whole electricity system, at least for the fence post, is actually going to be going right in behind here. So I'm going to take out some of these frames. Uh, we really don't need these anymore. They're not really supporting the build. So we'll clean that up a little bit. I'll take out uh, this support right here. We don't really need that at all anymore either. It's going to make sure that that's the appropriate one. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, and there goes that old support system. It's kind of nice getting the base of this thing cleaned up. And we'll see the transformation of this whole entire thing, guys, um, as we go through the series. Like, we're going to have to do a lot of renovations and... Ooh. Ooh, that's an airdrop and stuff to this base here and then when we build the other ones it'll basically be a tutorial because you guys will be able to see uh, exactly how i did that oh yeah we need we need to go find that airdrop it's southwest well that wasn't very far away at all and where's it landing oh it looked like it landed right in front of 
or on top of the this place here. Now, we never got to the back of this place, guys. And I apologize about that, but we will come back once our loot stage is a little higher. And we can possibly get some really good stuff. Because you guys said uh, in the warehouse area, there is some really good stuff. Anyway, I just repeated myself. Oh, look at that. We have a baked potato. You know what? I'm going to just eat you. Uh, you as well, cornbread. And we got two corn on the cob. Oh, you know that's a, that's a nice little uh, food find. And we also got 500 more wood frames. So there we go. That'll help us. So wood frames 100% are going to help when we build the uh, pyramid slope part on the rest of the base. All right, let's get back to work. And we are back home with our booty, which is really good. So I'm going to save myself some time here. I know for a fact that I have to dig down four blocks anyway. So I'm going to dig down four blocks uh, in behind. Oh, I'm going to have to pick these up too. We, we don't need these here. I'm going to dig down four blocks in behind this row right here. And we'll get a row of blocks placed down. That way they're on a nice strong foundation. And in the future, when you come back to dig out the rest of this, we won't have to do it twice. Oh, crap! Oh, jeez, that scared the living crap out of me. Turn around, there's a spider in there with me. What is going on, spides? Whoop. Oh, he got a swing on me. Damn! Okay, well, he's down. Is that a wandering horde? I hope not. I really want to get this electricity done this episode. Uh, we have another local coming in, but I don't see... I don't really see a wandering horde. Okay, we should be fine. So we're looking pretty good here on the front with the forge. I had to come up to dump a few things. We were like extremely overweight. I'm going to put it in here for uh, uh, 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and turn that on. I'm going to slide that into there and we're going to start pumping some stone into here. Uh, so that way I can make myself some more concrete mix. And I did mark one house at least that was had a construction site at it. We'll have to do a trip here after Horde Night I think and uh, hit up all the construction sites now that we're making cement. And of course, we'll make a whole ton of forged iron. 181. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at this, guys. Looking over here, I see a couple dogs. And I also see a bunch of other zombies. Maybe that was from a wandering horde. They're just kind of chilling out over there. Well, we can't just, uh, you know, drag our butts around this place, guys. We got to go and take care of them. I forgot my exit was outside of the place. Old habits die hard, I guess. All right, let's go take them on. Uh, I think I'm going to try to go after those dogs first. That definitely amped up the zombie kill this time around. I think I forgot to take our numbers here uh, after the last wandering horde. But yeah, we just have a few uh, locals kicking around now. Let's take a look now at our enemy kills. 861. Not too shabby at all. But those uh, wandering hordes weren't as big as the, the other ones were. Oh, look at this. Still a, a, a couple of uh, stragglers over here. Oh, Oh, no, I think we went in here before. I was going to say, are these spawns, sleeper spawns from this little shed? But no, there's no way. All right, cool. This one last guy, and we can uh, take a look here at our pet. Well, we got a dog. Must have missed a dog. Holy crap, that just scared the living crap out of me here. Is there any more of you? Oh, that one must have been hiding. 
Okay, well, there's a couple more zombies kicking around over here. Now, uh, unfortunately, guys, I'm just looking at the time here, and I don't think we have proper time to get this all set up this episode, as it's probably going to take me about half an hour here, just kind of digging, uh, putting blocks and stuff down, and uh, I don't have the time to do the rendering of this video uh, if I do that. So we'll have to call it here. We'll come back next episode, uh, probably be hooking up the electricity and seeing how we're running for time and maybe do the horde. But yeah, looks like we're going to have, once again, electricity for day 14. And look at that, guys. We've undergone some renovations again. And now we're up to concrete. Pretty exciting stuff, in my opinion. Now, if you guys are enjoying, please do hit that like button if you're making it to the end of the video and watch the whole thing. I greatly appreciate you. And if you'd like to support me in other ways, you can find them in the top pinned comment. I do make myself, or I do make myself, I do make hand wood goods, guys. Or hand wood, hand wood. <laughs> Handmade wood goods. If you want to check those out, I absolutely love making things. So, anyway, guys, my voice is going. Have yourself a good one. Back up them game saves.